since April. I've been going back and forth between this and this and my 8x trying to figure out what I want to do and me and Ventura are a little bit at a loss. Right baby? Right baby? <laughs> um, right now I, um, well I wanted to go back because I I actually wanted to make dividers um, and it's kind of hard uh, the sometimes camera angles are a little strange and what looked okay in the picture makes Ventura looks like he has a giant bald head so we will be starting this one over because he does not have a giant bald head and um, I was undecided about what to do but um, but I really like the Portlands and I really just feel like I either have to use them or I have to maybe give one to my son. I don't really know, but I started with the 30, um, the Portland Grand because it has 30 millimeter rings. Um, because I, I'm using the, the DIY fish inserts and I want to be able to put the most possible in and I think with the um, regular Portland I'm kind of um, only able to put maybe one month in so um, I have the uh, three year planner I have July left over and I want to um, just do a, a quick flip because I, I need to archive, I do need to archive these. So, um, one of the things I really like about the monthly inserts in particular, um, is there, there's a blank space and, um, without any pictures or art or whatever, it's a very clean, um, very clean design and I like the font a lot. Um, when it's folded, it just looks like this. I I think that's really good. Hang on one sec. Okay. Um, and I either draw or put... Um, these are Instagram pictures I had printed out a long time ago. Um, I like to do little pictures in the boxes that either you know have something to do with the day or just sort of fill the space and um, this paper is just printer paper um, I have Tomo River paper and I like the A4 campus pad from Jet Pens um, but for expediency at the moment, I've been printing it on um, just regular paper. Um, I like the weeks a lot too. This is where I meal plan. Um, I'm not going to print, I don't think, the daily pages because um, I don't really need to right now. I mean, I have so much extra paper, um, all different kinds. I'm just going to use the daily pages. Um, these are some of the dogs that I did. This is Bruce. This is a picture I did for a friend. The baby. So these are the daily pages, and these are really nice for a lot of reasons. Um, I liked that they're... Um, segmented. I like that the dates are on it. That certainly makes it easy. There's a spot for the weather. Um, and the only reason that I'm not really printing them is because I'm really just trying to use up some of the paper that I have. Um, and this is um, a fish offered a blank month on a page really for, you know, just doodling and putting little artwork in and um, since I moved into the Hobonichi at this point 
Um, it's not finished, but um, it's perfect. I mean, if you want to try to do little pictures and you just want to get yourself going, um, these are on her blog, and they're just perfect for doodles. And I think we're still in July. August. And I have a feeling this is around the time that I went back to my Hobonichi. Um, there's another dog I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, these are the post-its that I got at uh, well, one of the sets. I think they had three or four sets. And I got these at Jet Pens, and they are way more expensive than um, the um, regular post-it notes. I would say they're probably about twice as much as regular post-it notes and way more expensive than the Target post-it notes. But I can't find regular post-it notes that look like this. I know they just came out with one really cool set, but that's only at Office Depot, which is not around me. And I know there's a lot of cute dollar post-it notes around, but they're just too aggravating. I mean, they don't stick. So this is one of the things I would rather spend money on than buy 30 cheap packets. I'd rather buy a couple of um, sets of these. And there's a little stick on tag so you can attach it to whatever you want to attach it to. Um, this was the uh, Hobonichi ruler. And it's actually really better for my DIY fish um, foldable pages in my file effects than it was for my Hobonichi because as a ruler it's perfect. If, you, if what you need in your Hobonichi is a ruler um, that's perfect, but you can't put it on the pages because um, they will rip. It would have to be on the cover, and um, I, that's not what I needed it for. I was going to use it like as a page marker. Uh, so this is September, and I'm doing um, fall leaves on my little monthly. And I did a little, um, somebody asked me how to draw these little acorns, so I did a little, um, a little step thing and put it on Instagram. So, easy. Uh, and this is September. And I have the, um, week on two pages. And then I just write in my own notes on all of the random paper that I have to um, use it up. And that is uh, working for me. Uh, I print less and I just get to use whatever I have up. This is one of the post-its that I got at Jet Pens. Um, and then... I printed, well, what I bought was, um, Fish has, um, October through December, um, monthly pages and weekly pages, um, no daily pages, it's really economical, and that's what I bought, and I decorated October for Halloween with a, kind of like a retro, uh, cat, like, paintings they used to have in the 60s and things like that. I didn't do November and I just put some tape on the bottom. This is this is this Christmas paper tape that I've been saving for like a year and um, I don't use a lot of washi but I really want to use the Christmas washi so I'm going to do something with that and I do tape the um, edges where I punch them but I tape them on the, the um, other side, the flip side, um, so 
in November if I want to leave it blank I can or if I want to draw something or I can and, and whatever I put here I doesn't doesn't make any difference so uh, that is pretty much it um, I've been experimenting with how to fold uh, letter size receipts and different things so I can put them in here like I did with my Malden obviously it doesn't work quite as well but um, but it, it does work so uh, I'll have to see how this goes and now I'm going to archive um, everything before September and I guess that's it guys um, yeah, everybody have a good day and thank you so much for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed the video I know I was a little bit um, all over the place but I feel a little all over the place with my planning right now so um, if anybody has any suggestions I would appreciate it thanks guys